Hello, outsider. Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in training. Yes, can I help you? No, no idea. Sorry. Evening. Hello, can I help you with... Still bring... Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. Chicken hearts there, I see, Scribe Schuler. Yes, can I help you? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice. But before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. That girl is nothing but trouble. Still, I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty. But I will if you don't help me find that gun. No, weapon checking protocol includes verifying the serial number of the weapon, so a different gun would be noticed. Plus, having a new gun suddenly show up would immediately point to you, being the only outsider around here and all. No, the only way I have out of this is if you help me find that gun. You'll help me, right? Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. I have important work to do, so no time to talk. You've been outside. Is the NCR really still hunting us? Hey. Hello again, my friend. Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Veronica. Hello? Yes, what is it? Yeah? That was so much fun. The wind whipping through our hair, not knowing what was gonna jump out at us at any moment. And when those scorpions came out, it was just like The Sims. All I had to do was line them up and then squeeze the trigger. I doubt I'll be able to get Stanton to go with me again, though. 
I thought he'd enjoy it as much as I did, but he was just scared the whole time. Don't tell him I told you this, but when those scorpions surrounded us, I'd bet a week's rations he pissed himself. Bye. Taggart, it's your favorite student. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're gonna survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail, or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets its attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Our elder before McNamara, he had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? Th that is unfortunate. As long as there is a chance to find the remaining patrol, however, I must still ask you to try. Return when you have found them. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every Initiate learns when they start training. What about it? What did you have in mind? Pardon? Veronica. Keep an eye on Veronica here. She's a sharp one. What is this? 
Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. What's up? Veronica here. She's a sharp one. Harden will be elder soon. Mark my words. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Hey, Ramos. Behave yourself this time, Veronica.
You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Aw, you shouldn't have. It's just my taste. Thank you.
What's up? Prim as the new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Got something good for me? Is it a dress? What's up? Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. 
Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Hmm, more or less. Supposedly it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios-1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios-1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it would show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. They defended Helios like it was their last stand. Didn't even know if there was anything worth defending. How could there be, with all we lost? Even if it did work, it'd be under NCR control now. So it'd either prove our goals are wrong, or we're incapable of pursuing them. There's a pawn shop in Outer Vegas we could check, and I've heard of a gift shop in the Strip that deals in pre-war antiques. Yeah. Maybe they'll think twice about engaging the NCR if they know one of those could be floating around. The notes say to look around Nellis Air Force Base. He suggests going through filing cabinets and computers in the commanding officer's quarters. Okay, what better way to persuade them than to give them a taste of what they stand to gain, right? Maybe the best place to start is to see what we can find out directly from the NCR. Let's head to their OSI office at McCarran. I like the way you think. I have important work to do, so no time to talk. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. Bye. Keep an eye on Veronica here. She's a sharp one. We have a duty to preserve the past. Try to keep Veronica out of trouble, would you? Our former elder, Elijah, was obsessed with new technology. That's why we were at Helios in the first place. Hey, I heard the pistol got returned. Thanks a lot. I am never going to listen to Watkins again. Believe me. Hey, I heard the pistol got returned. Thanks a lot. I am never going to listen to Watkins.
Hello again, my friend. I'm one step closer to reclaiming the glory of the past. What's up? What are your thoughts? Okay, I won't. Here to do business? Don't you laugh at me. I know a spell Antique rangefinder. Trying to think of something that'd be more worthless. Maybe an antique horoscope. Or an antique sandwich. I'll tell you something. Good luck finding that thing. But if you do find it, don't waste your time trying to sell it to me. Of course. Another satisfied customer. Until next time. personal welcome wife. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Well now, it was Mr. House that made secure trunks like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't know. He'll be waiting. That's it. Keep moving. Oh, nice last job out five there. Shots were a bad idea. Don't be carrying any guns in the casino. Why do they call it a monorail? It's a train. A train. Why? We I've leave half it a mind to throw you all in the cell and let... Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. You might. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Take a look at these beauties. Just sweat it off. 
Back again? Need a weapon for an emergency, Mr. Holdout's your guy. Suit yourself. It's not my fault if they find your body dumped in Freeside. You like it, huh? Come on, come on. I like what I see. Look alive, guys. We're on NCR time. You look like I you got the edge, I the monorail is just ahead. Somewhere. Dancing oh, makes so me sweat. Up, I can't feel all my legs. Over. Huh. So the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Your lady friend needs to lighten up. Don't give us any time. Hey. We need to stop and peace. Step up to the tables. Let's see what you I got. I got pressure in me like Hoover Dam. Don't have the patience for this drunk escort shit tonight. Stand tall and walk straight. You idiots are giving us a bad name. You look like you just crawled out of the desert. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. The name's Knight. Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny-looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells! Hey now, come on! I prefer the term outdoor entertainment bonanza. Besides, have you seen the caps whores make in this town? I should be so lucky. Sure, later. You again? You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps! Geez, some people. Wow, Mr. House is looking for you, huh? What do you think he wants? Bowling partner? Strip secure. No violence is permitted on the strip. Have a nice day. Howdy. Interested in a refreshing beverage or a tasty snack? Nope. Strictly independent. Well, kind of independent. To vend anything here on the Strip, you gotta register with one of those police robots and sign a franchisee agreement. At the end of each day, you keep half of what you made. The rest you hand over to those bots. And they know if you're cheating. Yep, he makes the rules. It's steep, but it sure beats living in North Vegas. Here on the Strip, I can afford to eat, and no one tries to kill me. Non-alcoholic beverages and snack foods. The casinos get to sell booze. No one else does. It's the most amazing place in the world, don't you think? This must be what it was like to live a thousand years ago. 
There are three casinos open for business. Gamora, the Tops, and the Ultralux. They get nicer in that order. This here's the monorail station leading in from Camp McCarran. Most of my business is with soldiers coming and going on furlough. Take your pick. Hello again. Feeling thirsty? Come back anytime. Your lady friend seems out of place here. Come on. Time to get lucky. Nice job out there. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. No, silly, of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. Okay, how can I help you? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Wow, I wish I had more of them. All this interest to be my biggest seller. I sold it to a man not too long ago. Real twitchy, nervous sort of guy. Kind of seemed like he was wigging out about something. Had a funny collar on. I wanted to ask him about it, but I figured maybe I'd regret asking. People are weird around here. Well, it was metal and kind of thick. First I thought he'd come from Gamora, but they're more into leather there. Didn't look comfortable. He kept reaching up like he was gonna itch it, but he always stopped himself. No, but I know where he was going. He asked me if I knew of any place where he could hide out for a while. Wanted somewhere with concrete walls. Something about airwaves, I forget. But I guess he spent all his money on the rangefinder because he said it had to be somewhere free to stay. I said I didn't know about anything like that around here, but if he wanted to live for free, a lot of people do that in Freeside. I know there's a concrete building there across from Mick and Ralph's. No ceiling, but I think it still counts. Went up there one time to try and, you know, meet my neighbors in the biz. But, you know, I don't think they took me very seriously. Oh, he was pretty average, I'd say. Average height, average age, dark hair, beard of some kind. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? Take a look at this. Oh.
Okay, see you soon. What's up? You're the one who's... Huh? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Mr. This? Oh man, it's Stacy's fault. She pretends like she didn't get hit. That's still a lot of money. I guess I'll take it. Wow. Good thing the safety was on. Hi there. Hey, you're the one who's. What? What's up? What are your thoughts? Good. Man, Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. I don't think I've slept this well in ages. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? 500 caps and it's yours. Here you go. Thanks for stopping in. Evening. 